Okay, so today we're going to find a way to take our scrap wood and kind of utilize it in a better way. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is just something super simple, super easy, and I'm going to walk you guys through it and show you how to make a K-cup holder just out of some of the scrap wood you got laying around. Very simple, very easy. Anybody at home with basic tools can do it. Okay, so we got here just a simple piece of scrap wood I got sitting in my garage. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first thing we're gonna do is make sure one, it's even. You wanna make sure everything's even on it so it doesn't throw any of your measurements off. Okay, so what I did next was I took a hand router, just a normal hand router, routed the edges off, tried to make it up nice, look nice and pretty so that way, you know, it doesn't look like some standard piece of wood, it throws a little bit of an edge on it. Okay, well, I ended up finding a couple pieces more scrap wood, so what we're gonna do is, this is the, uh, not the finished product, but pretty much what you're gonna end up doing. As long as you got a drill, uh, something you can make holes with, you should be good to go in uh, getting this. So we got our routered edges, we got the holes drilled in. The hardest part to this is honestly just measuring everything out and making sure everything stays even. All right, so we got the wood. Uh, this, like I said, this is already routered, I'm just showing you how I do it. I got my work table. I just move it onto the side here. And I'll take a simple clamp and I'll clamp it down and I'll go along the edges with my router. Pardon my very messy workspace. Okay, so like I was saying before, the next step is measuring out everything. Pretty much what I do is I know automatically, okay, just because of the size of the cake up, I figured on this piece of wood right here, um, on the taking into account the routering, we got 10 and 1 fourths cross and we have 11 and 3 eighths going down. So what I ended up doing is I'll just take over here, divide it, find the difference and do the middle ones first. So I'll mark each middle one with my pencil and as I'm marking I'll then move down and uh, Make sure I got them all evenly spaced out. Now how I'm evenly spacing them is I'm going uh, three inches, every three inches is where I'm gonna go ahead and put my next hole, my next hole, my next hole. And by then, it should be pretty much even and you got a decent uh, uh, spread. So all in all, you should have three across and four going down. Okay, a little bit hard to see, but I got everything measured out. I got uh, three going across, four going down. Now we're gonna move into the uh, cutting of the hole. Okay, for the cutting, I recommend that you have a uh, strong enough drill here. I got an 18 volt uh, DeWalt myself. Um, and what I'm using, I'm using this drill bit right here. It's a one and a half to go ahead and cut uh, the holes in here. And literally I'm just drilling down into the wood and making the hole. I know there's a little bit, uh, there might be some easier tools out there to do this with. I just don't got those tools, but I mean, that's what it's all about, uh, being create, creative and uh, getting stuff done. So this is how I'm doing it, and I'll show you how as the video goes on. Okay, so what I'm doing, since uh, I don't really got a lot of adequate space, what I just did is I took two pieces of wood, put it down the bottom so that way my drill doesn't go into my table that I used to cut and work on. Um, put my safety glasses on, safety always first. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and just find my markings that I did my holes. Uh, you can use a clamp too, I'm just using my arm right now, uh, but you can use a clamp to hold this down if you would like. It'd be, probably be a lot easier and better actually. Uh, but I'm just doing it with my arm for right now. And then you're just gonna go ahead and make sure your drill settings on the uh, drill and good to go. All right, there you go, you got a nice evenly uh, cut hole and then you just continue on with all your other markings clean as you go and everything should be good after that. Okay here's a couple that I just got done uh, finishing up here. Uh, all that's really left to do on them now is sand them on up and then I'm gonna throw a little bit of stain on them and some uh, polyurethane to go ahead and uh, make it look a little bit better. Alright so what we got here is a finished product this is one I made uh, earlier but Concept is the same and now you got a great place to hold all your K-Cups in uh, And it looks a lot different compared to everybody else's uh, standard stuff that you can buy at the local Walmart and whatnot So hopefully you can make this and enjoy yourself 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything, just go ahead and leave them in the comment box. Thank you very much.